بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم as I promised you we'll solve uh, a simple example on uh, uh, this uh, idea of elasticity and uh, tensile shearing etc here we have a steel rod is subjected to a stretching force as you can see this force is applied along the length okay and here we have a certain area it is the area of the cross-sectional area which is equal to pi r square because the cross-sectional area is just a circle and the area of a circle is just pi r square the radius is given 9.5 millimeter the length initially before the application of the force was 81 centimeter and this applied force is 62 kilo newton the kilo is 1000 so this is just 6.2 times 10 to the power 4 newtons okay the length is 81 centimeter or we can write it as 0 0.81 uh, meter okay and this is the radius 9.5 10 to the minus 3 meter okay uh, and we are given the Young's modulus and the shear modulus okay this is a little bit tricky uh, for this problem our object is subjected to a tensile force. For a tensile force, how did we know it is a tensile uh, stress? Because it is trying to stretch the object along the length. So which modulus should we use? Should we use the Young's modulus E or the shear modulus G? Please answer my student. Yes, you are right. It should be E because for the tensile, we use the Young's modulus. Okay. How do we know this? Because it is a tensile. What is the meaning of tensile? The force is compressing our object, trying to reduce its length, or the force is extending or stretching our object, trying to increase its length. Okay, in this question, he would like first to find the stress, calculate the stress. The stress is nothing but the force divided by the area, okay? So stress, which is the left-hand side, of this uh, formula equals the force over the cross-sectional area. The force is 6.2 10 to the power 4 uh, newtons divided by the area which is pi r square and the r is 9.5 okay times 10 to the minus 3 and the unit here is meter square. Uh, if we make this calculation we'll find that this is 2.2 times 10 to the power 8, 2.2 times 10 to the power 8 Newton per meter uh, square. And this is, the, uh, this is the stress on our steel uh, rod. Calculate delta L. And delta L here will be the increase in the length because of this uh, tensile or stretching uh, force. Okay, so we need to apply this uh, formula. We have uh, force over area, which we have just calculated, equals E, the Young's modulus, which is uh, written. So we don't use this one, the shear modulus. We don't use it because we don't have a twisting force or a shearing force. Okay? Uh, multiplied by delta L over L. As you can see, we'll have only one unknown. Okay? So we have force over area equals E divided by delta L over L. Okay, we know this force over area we have just calculated. So we can write this as delta L will be equal to force over area, which is the stress, multiplied by the original length divided by the E, which is the Young's uh, modulus. Uh, if you plug in these uh, numbers, you will get 2.2 times 10 to the power 8, okay, which is force over area, the stress, multiplied by the length. What is the length? Length is 81 centimeters, so it is 0 0.81 uh, a meter, divided by E, which is 2 times 10 to the power 11 newton per meter square. And here, this one is newton per meter square so this unit will cancel with that unit and you are left with uh, delta l in units of meter and this will be 
8.9 10 to the minus 4. 8.9 10 to the minus 4 meter. Okay, if we'd like to write it in uh, millimeters, this will be 0 0.89 millimeter. This is the increase of the length uh, of our uh, steel uh, rod. Calculate the strain. This is the final or the last uh, question here. What is the strain? The strain, as you can see, it is the change in the length divided by the original length. Okay, so strain equals the change in the length divided by the original length. And this will be 0 0.8 9 divided by, uh, of course, this is millimeter, okay, divided by uh, the original length, which is 81 centimeter, but this is uh, 810 millimeter. It should be the same unit, or you can write it as uh, 0 0.089 centimeter divided by 81 uh, centimeter should be the same unit or you write it in meter meter such that you can get uh, the correct so this will be 1.1 10 to the minus uh, 3 1.1 times 10 to the minus 10 to the minus 3 so this is uh, the strain or this is just 11 percent okay 11 uh, not 11 percent 0 0.11 uh, percent because this can be written as 0 0.11 times 10 to the minus 2 or equal to 0 0.11 percent okay this is how much uh, the change of the length compared to the original the original length type let me take the same rod but now I'll apply a force from the side not along the length but it will be perpendicular to the length Okay, please take the camera to the other side. So it is the same rod, same length, 81 centimeter, same radius, 9.5 millimeter, same force, but now the force is coming from uh, the side. As a result, our rod will be twisted, and this deflection is uh, delta X. Would like to find how much is this delta X, okay? Now, this is a shearing force. So, what should we use for the shearing force? I hope this is clear in the camera. Uh, shearing, we need to use the shear modulus, G. Okay? In the case of shearing, we use G. Don't use E. So, this one, we should ignore. Okay? Don't use the young modulus for uh, the shearing. Okay? So, we use the shearing modulus. And we write the uh, formula, force over cross-sectional area equals G, which is the shear modulus, multiplied by delta X over the original, the original length. Uh, rewriting this formula, we can get delta X equals force over area, which is the stress, uh, multiplied by L, the original length, divided by G, which is the shear modulus. So, force over area, we have calculated this before in the previous example. This was 2.2 times 10 to the power 8. The unit is Newton per meter square. Multiplied by L, the original uh, length. Original length is 0 0.81 meter. Divided by <coughs> the uh, G, which is 2 times 10 to the power 2 to the power 9 newton per meter square okay so this will cancel with that and we are left with uh, delta x in units of uh, meters and the answer here is found to be 0 0.089 meter 0 0.089 meter or in millimeter this is 89 millimeter or 8.9 uh, centimeters. I hope with these two examples uh, you have a good idea about the application of these nice uh, formulas related to the uh, elasticity. Uh, with my best wishes, thank you.